Hey everybody, and Tony here, and I have a very special guest with me today who I am making this interview with, and it's none other than the very fine Italian lyric tenor, Emanuele D'Aguano. Welcome Hello, to everybody. the interview. Hello, Tony. Hi. So, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. So, as you can see, I've basically first encountered this tenor in a live stream production of Donizetti's Lucia della Marmor, live from the Bayerische Staatsoper Munich, where he sang the role of Arturo. So here he is with me today. So, um, Mr. Daguano, what made you realize that you wanted to become a singer? Well, I was, um, I was a musician. I was a guitarist uh, before to become a singer and then when I was at school I, I started to sing in a choir and the teacher of the choir, the master of the choir, uh, suggested me to, 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 to do lessons with the teacher because the voice was natural, in easily very um, in a good position not, uh, so I tried to, to get some teaching with the, with the singer but I didn't like opera <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, uh, I didn't like opera, I didn't understand why the, the people on the, on the stage uh, scream uh, for, for all the time. After uh, my first years in the conservatory in Italy, I, I realized that uh, there was a possibility to do business with the opera. So, I, I began to, to sing. Right. But uh, first of all, I was a musician. Yes. Okay. And what was your debut role? Well, my de de debut role was, I can't, I can't say that uh, it was in the opera of uh, Paisiello. Okay. Paisiello, uh, there is a, uh, an opera very not popular, because no one knows about that, but uh, Il Fanatico in Berlina of Giovanni Paisiello. Mm -hmm. And, but I think I can consider my first uh, professional contract uh, uh, Basilio and Don Corso in Right. Yes. And how did you feel about your debut role? How did you feel about it? Were you nervous the well, first time? Well, on the debut, you mean in general, when I debuted some role? Oh, yes. <coughs> in general, yes. Uh, for, for the debut, it's is, uh, is important to keep control with the technique. With the uh, with the music, uh, with, the, with the stage, to keep uh, to stay in touch with the, with the, with the stage, to, with the conductor, you are nervous. Yes, there are people that is not is never nervous about the premiere, about the opening night. There is people that is normal. For me, um, I try to arrive to the, to the opening night to debut a role very very sure about my, my, my role, the, the stuff that I have to do on stage, on scene, so. Okay. And when it comes to your style of singing, do you have any inspirations? Are there any singers who inspire you? <coughs> depends from the role. Mm -hmm. um, depends from the role. If I have to sing some special role, very famous, of course, I... I try to help myself with the big uh, singers of the past uh, or yeah, generally the past, not, not now. Like anyone in particular? <laughs> Fritz Wunderlich. Okay. He's one of the best tenor for me. Or Nikolai Gedda, another one. For the Italian repertoire, is I think uh, I, I love uh, Giuseppe Di Stefano. Mm -hmm. 
depends, depends what I sing. <coughs> but in general, uh, if I sing a very popular role, yes, okay, I, I pay attention to the past. If I have to sing uh, new roles that uh, is not so popular, like opera from Salieri in, or uh, the 18th century, you don't have any chance to hear someone, no? Mm -hmm. So you prepare yourself just with, you, with yourself. So. Right, yeah. And, um, for example, now I'm, uh, I'm the, in a week with the, we have the premiere in Magdeburg of Finta Giardiniera Mozart. I just trust in myself. And uh, I go to sing my bel fiore. Right. So, you sang in Munich, as I yes. remember. And how did you feel about the whole artistic scene there? and especially in some other parts of Germany as opposed to Italy? You mean about the, the audience? Not just the audience, but the entire artistic scene. <clears throat> well, I think <laughs> Munich is the, the best theater in Germany, I think. For the quality, for the people, for the, for the audience also. The difference uh, uh, with Italy for example, is that uh, um, in Germany you can find much uh, open people, mm -hmm. open mind people. You can have uh, special productions, uh, and the people is, is, is always happy. If you do the same in Italy, the people can kill you. Mm -hmm. Kill you, <laughs> yes. Right. But. Uh, um, it's, it's the, the energy is different because you in Italy you, you feel the tradition of the opera. Mm -hmm. uh, as I told you before, I, when I sing in Italy, I feel I'm not scared, but I feel much more I mean, much more nervous about to sing in Italy than when I am in Germany. Because there is, there is another kind of tradition. If you sing in a big big house in Germany, of course you are. You have to be at the top, right? But it's different. It's different because uh, you see the people uh, is uh, is enjoying mm -hmm. the show, right? Uh, so my experience in Munich uh, was great. Yes. Mm. Do you have any favorite director or conductor or singer that you like working with so much? Well, from my experience, uh, uh, I. I can understand when I am in front of a big conductor or a big, big a star conductor, or when I am in front of a good conductor. But uh, I can say that uh, one of the best uh, has been to be meta. Mm -hmm. But another one that surprised me a lot because he's a very great uh, is Marco Armilla. Right. And I knew him in Munich and the, the fantastic things about him that uh, he is uh, con he's conduct all the time by heart without scores. Okay, he conducts Traviata, Tosca, Turandot, Traviata, Tosca, Turandot, maybe. No, no, it's not true, but uh, he knows very well that, that scores and he conducts by heart. It, it's amazing. He's not the only, the, the only conductor that works in that more in that way but for me it was the first one so I re I, re I remain very really really surprised but there are a lot of, of conductors that uh, Ivor Bolton right I like him a lot he's a he's a, a sir a man a, a, un signore but I like him because uh, and I like him because uh, he's conducts uh, very well and what about singers? Do you have any particular singer that you like working with and all that stuff? Mm. Well, you know that uh, the, the opera world is, um, is a... Is a uh, I can say that in Munich I met a lot of great singers. Mm -hmm. I sang a lot with... Uh, and Lucrezia Borgia. So, but uh, we never had something, something special together because the roles. Uh, but 
we, if you mean great big singers, uh, I don't have any, no, no one. Like any singer that stood out to you so much? No. Okay. No. No. Okay. I have many, many people, many singers, young like me, that... Uh, that I have, I have much, uh, much more feeling on the stage. But it depends on the production. The production so right. And... Um, when it comes to how you prepare for a role, I go to the pianist. I go to do my to, to do my coaching. Uh, first of all, I I need to, to learn the music, the score. Then uh, once I I know the music, I go to the pianist to to try to make me comfortable with that role uh, to practice uh, all all notes on my on my voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I go to the production. Right. And is there anything you almost have to do, um, like bodily, and how you have to do anything, like physically, to like make sure there's a good performance? Actually, no. <laughs> I know there are a lot of, of singers that practice fitness, uh, sports, uh, because it's important. I don't think so. If you if you have a good um, if you have um, if you eat normally. If you sleep well, if you just do a good practice of your instruments, you are you are fine. You don't need to, to do to 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 be a bodybuilder. Right. Yes, to be a no, mm -hmm. I think no. Okay. Then there is a director that wants you naked on the stage because you have to show your mascots. For me, the uh, I don't believe in that. I believe that okay, you have to be healthy. And then you go. Mm -hmm. That's it. And do you have any future plans? Like, are there any roles that you're looking forward to in the future? You mean in the next months? In the next months, next but, years? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, I will debut my first uh, German roles in Beijing uh, in 2018. I will sing Camilo Rossillo and Lustige Witwe, and it's for me important because uh, it's my first uh, uh, German role that I will sing in, in German. Language. Um, but uh, I really hope to to have possibility to, to sing some uh, Donizetti roles, mm -hmm. like uh, like Anna Bolena. I'm waiting for answer about the, that roles. So let's see, depends or not. Mm -hmm. For yeah. Right. And do you have any advice for young singers who want to be able to take the operatic road or have an operatic career? Okay, um, yes, yes or not, because the moment is not so, so easy for this, kind, for this world, for this opera world. Uh, I think uh, uh, it's the worst moment in the, in the world for the opera, maybe. Um, in Italy, of course, uh, we had uh, a golden age in the past. Now we don't have the same, the same things. In the um, everywhere in Europe, uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's best for young singers. What can I say? Uh, uh, it. No, I'm not joking. But uh, if you believe it, because you can, you you can, you you believe that you you can do it. Okay, go go forward. But you have to be very, very convinced because it's so hard. There is a lot of competition. You have to find a good manager that supports you and push you because it's important to have in our job a manager, but a good manager that can help you in every, every step of your career. Not just to make contract because you need to make contract. No, you need someone that can build something for you. Right. And it's not simple to find this, or in particular for the young singers. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to believe, you have to, 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 to try to find your way, you, you, are, you, you have to be strong. Right. Yes. Because no one helps you 
no one uh, give you nothing otherwise you are under a commendation that's it well, um, I hope you all enjoyed this interview. I want to thank uh, Emanuele de Guano thank you, for his time. And I heard that you're also going to sing in Magdeburg. Magdeburg, yes, in a week uh, we debut Finta Giardiniera. The performance will be on May 6, 20, 25 and 2nd of June. So for those of you who are in Magdeburg, please do not miss out on this gentleman. He'll be performing there. He is just absolutely wonderful. Like I said, I saw him as Arturo in the live stream production of Luci del Memor. He's really, really fabulous. So you won't regret it. He's absolutely wonderful. Please check him out. And until then, this is Antoni signing off and... Hey Manuel de Guano, goodbye everybody. And I hope you all have a really, really great day. See you soon. Thank you.